Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay Davis and today we're going to talk about a problem or problems I had for years. It's all about maintaining and saving money when I decide to purchase fruits and vegetables. Have you ever purchased something and didn't know whether it needed to be in a dry, cool place or under the cabinet in the dark? Need to stay in water, away from the water, from the sunlight, away from the sunlight? Should I, what should I do? Should it go in the refrigerator or should I let it stay on the counter? If that's something you would like to find out more about, something that can save you some money when you go, next time you go shopping, then uh, subscribe. Just hit that little button right down there and subscribe to my channel. Because on this channel, we talk about DIY, juicing, fruits and vegetables, and the best way and most economical way to, to save money. If that sounds like something you're interested in, just hit the subscribe button and remember to like and share. That being said, all right, I'm going to share with you 12 tips that would help me with my fruits and vegetables storage. So this video is going to offer 12 tips on how to keep your fruits and vegetables fresh longer, thereby saving you money. Let's get started with number one. Bananas. We all love bananas. They're our to-go snack. They're for our cereal. They're for our smoothies. But what happens if they're getting a little bit too ripe too soon? One of the methods that I have found is this plain old aluminum foil or saran wrap. What you want to do is you want to prevent gas from escaping from the stem. The stems here, if they're getting a little bit ripe, take that saran wrap. Place it on the stem of your bananas. This will give you a few more days. It slows the ripening process down because the gas is not able to, ex to escape. Now what is after a day or two you realize that you're still not ready to have your bananas? What I would suggest is just slice them up, place them in a storage bag, and put them in the freezer. And when you're ready for that smoothie or or that uh, drink, your bananas are good to go. Number two would be, all right, when it comes to uh, berries, your blueberry, your strawberry, your raspberry, I found it's best to just leave them alone because they're so soft and fragile and easy to bruise. When you first get them, I would empty them out. Where are my blueberries? I would empty them out. Here's the container mine came in. Use a little small piece of towel or paper towel, put it in the bottom, the bottom and put your berries back. Keep them nice, dry and safe. Put them back in the container. Is now you soak them in a two to one ratio. For example, um, this is, can you see that? Uh, distilled vinegar. You put one part vinegar, pour that in the bowl, one part vinegar, two part water, which I've already measured out here, And allow your berries, blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, to soak. So I'm just going to place that uh, and let it soak for five or ten minutes. Okay, your tropical fruits like your mango and your pineapple. Allow to ripen on your countertop, but keep them away from direct sunlight and possibly room temperature. That will enhance their lifespan. Citrus fruits like your oranges can stay on the countertop and just keep them away from direct sunlight. What about tomatoes, tomatoes, 
these, this size or the other size, allow to uh, ripen on the countertop. Yeah, I know, a, a lot of people have always put them in the refrigerator, but the refrigerator will not enhance their lifespan. They will get uh, soft faster, and they also have a tendency to pick up the flavor of other food left in the refrigerator or in the crisper. So, tomatoes, countertop or safe dry area, all right? This one was hard for me, cucumbers. Food like cucumbers, yes, it's a fruit, even though we call it a vegetable, last longer and stay firmer on the countertop. Keep it on the countertop or in a safe space away from direct sunlight in a dry area. That will enhance the lifespans of your cucumbers. When it comes to something like spinach, uh, which are very fragile, your leafy vegetables, when you go to purchase them in the store, if you notice that there's moisture already in the container, don't don't get by that one because that means there's already it's been in there for a while and it's already emitting gas, uh, and your vegetable, your spinach is not going to last as long. Now, when you get home, what you would want to do, for example, this container, you open it up and get yourself some paper towels. I just be honest, just grab it up in your hand or you can empty it in another container and put a paper towel to the bottom, put your spinach back and then put the remaining uh, paper towel, let it go over the top. What, and of course, before you seal it back out, look through it, if there are any that looks kind of wilted or wet, pull those out because that's only going to spoil and cause the others to spoil. When your paper towel is in, just close the container back. The paper towel would absorb any uh, moisture in the container and keep your spinach lasting longer, fresher, crisper for much longer. All right. And that will go for any of your leafy vegetable, your spinach, your kale. Just a little uh, something to absorb the additional moisture. When it comes to something like celery, how many times have you stuck your hands in the refrigerator looking for something firm and crisp like this? But what you found is something like this, all weak and leaning over, would divide, even though I have much color. So what you can do to keep your celery nice and firm, use something like aluminum foil. Just wrap the bottom, including the end. Just wrap it up. And place it back in the crisper in your refrigerator. Now, when it comes to potatoes, whether it's Irish potatoes or sweet potato. I have found that a dry a room temperature, temperature or cool area always seem to serve best. Just keep them away from direct sunlight. What about apples? Where do you store them? What's the best option? I've been told on the countertop or in the refrigerator, they both seem to work fine. Now, what I have found out, storing them on the countertop, that is great. But if you like, uh, you but if you like, you can also store them in the refrigerator. In fact, it lasts a little longer, a couple of days longer in the refrigerator in the crisper. So, which is best? It all depends. Do you like your apples at room temperature, or do you like them cold, crisp, cold and crisp? This is when we all have a tendency to forget when, before we go shopping, why don't we just 
Search our countertops and our refrigerator before shopping. This will eliminate a duplicate item because if it's duplicate, one is going to spoil. When possible, purchase only what you're able to use within the next day or two. If you use it, you can't lose it. Thank you.